Hi, this is Eric Clemens from Ackerman Technologies, and in this video, we're going to talk about getting the most out of the social media connectors in Outlook 2010 for Windows. So if you watch the video on how to set up social media connectors, I've already went ahead and um, set up my system with the LinkedIn and with the Facebook connectors. So um, if you haven't done that, I suggest you watch that video first um, before you jump into this one. And in addition to installing those and setting them up with my accounts, I have um, allowed it a little bit of time to go ahead and pull updates for my different contacts that I'm connected with. And here we have just a, a few sample email messages so I can show you the power of this tool. Um, here we have the social pane uh, down here at the bottom. Um, depending on how much screen real estate you have and how you like your Outlook configured, you may choose to, to make this a little bit bigger, make it a little smaller. Uh, you know, I use a pretty large screen, so I do like to see this uh, popped up every time uh, where I can get a, a good view. And we'll see that I'm connected with Margie on both Facebook and LinkedIn. And if we flip to another email, this email from Ryan, we'll see that we're connected with Ryan on LinkedIn uh, and it shows a, a photo preview. You also notice here that uh, this particular message has some other people that it was addressed to and so their social media updates will also show up in this uh, view. I want to point out something uh, kind of important. Ryan sent me this email from his work email address and he is uh, logged in with LinkedIn on his work email as many people are as I am. Uh, my LinkedIn account is set to my Ackerman.com email my Facebook account is set to my personal Gmail account. So here we're connected with Ryan on LinkedIn and it knows that we're connected based on his email address. Marky, on the other hand, uh, she uses her work email address for both Facebook and LinkedIn. It's a personal preference thing. So as you see where you're connected with people, I wouldn't be too alarmed um, if you know you're connected with somebody on Facebook, but they're showing up as LinkedIn. Now in this email from Teresa, we'll see I'm not connected to her on any social networks. And this add button here comes in handy for connecting with people. Um, she has a public picture on LinkedIn, as we can see with the LinkedIn logo here. So that's why it's pulling up her picture uh, from her public profile that she has associated with her, her work email address. And I'd like to add her to my LinkedIn network. So I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna select on LinkedIn. This will automatically generate an email to her through LinkedIn requesting that her and I connect. So that's pretty much how you can manage friends. And we can see here this icon has changed to let us know that there's a pending uh, confirmation that her and I connect. Flipping over here to, to Margie since she has a few Facebook updates, um, we can see that she has posted on Facebook these uh, several last few comments. The reason why this is powerful is because I could see um, that she posted something about having dinner with her mom and dad. Um, this might be a great way to be uh, very personal in reconnecting with Margie to send a message and say, hey, I saw your Facebook update about eating at your parents and how they make a special dinner for you. Uh, my parents do that too. So um, really what this allows you to do is very quickly see what's going on in somebody's social network as it relates to you and um, right from within Outlook. So it allows you to very easily connect with people. LinkedIn also has status updates, but we could see here that Ryan doesn't post many. Um, so that's why we're not seeing any for his LinkedIn profile. Also notice here too, that you can shuffle between uh, photos of users uh, from their Facebook profile to their LinkedIn profile. So that's very easily how you can use a social media connector to stay up to date with your social networks, reconnect with people, and uh, enhance the functionality of Outlook. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Please take a moment to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Ackerman. Also, check out our website and our blog at www.ackerman.com. Thanks for watching.